What do you see in the mirror? I see myself. Hi, self. Is today going to be a good day? No. Why? Why? I'll tell you why. Fucking posers. Fucking idiots. Fucking jackasses. You say you're fucking punk. You say you're fucking emo. You say you're fucking like anime. But yet... You don't dress the part. You don't act it. You don't show it. You don't share it. You just think, oh, well, it's a phase. It's a fucking lifestyle. Get used to it. If you're gonna wear it, wear it. If you're gonna be it, be it. Don't say you're gonna do something and not do it. God, that's what's sick and tired and makes me sick and tired of, of people. You know, they, they, they dress, they look something, and then they, they're not that. You know, I represent what punk is all about. I'm a punk rocker. I love metal. I love anime series. I wear anime shit. I'm not afraid to show it. I'm not afraid to show my scars. I'm not afraid to show my face. You know, other people want to hide and fake it. I don't fake shit. I make shit. Good morning. <laughs> uh, you know, it's, it's, it's funny, you know? People are like, oh man, I wanna, I wanna find someone that like, you know, likes em e emotional stuff, you know? Finds the uh, gothic stuff really cool. You know, and not just wear it like, you know, just to, you know, tease. No, I, they want to actually live that lifestyle. Well, if you're gonna live that lifestyle, Live it to the very fucking end of your life. Because that's what I do. In any lifestyle I have. I'm living my life to the very fucking end. Is my love life great? No, it's not. You know why? Because being gothic, your whole life sucks. Your whole life is miserable. Your whole life is filled with nothing but empty voids. And darkness. And shrouded in fucking mystery. You're always being fucking labeled. You're always being fucking seen for something that you're not. Something evil. But you know what? When you're gothic, you're fucking badass. You're hardcore. So act it. Fucking act it. Be it. Live it. Breathe it. Don't be afraid of what people are going to say about you. Jesus fucking Christ. Sorry for my language. But you know what? It really does irritate me. It really does. Because, you know, this is who I am. These are my videos. I'm proud and happy the way I am. If a, if a significant other wants to, you know, be a part of it, that's great. But don't fake your shit just to get near me. If you truly love me, you truly care about me, then fucking show it. Fucking show it. Be fucking grateful and have some gratitude, for Christ's sakes. Have some fucking guts. Or are your guts fucking emptied? Have they been ripped out of your fucking spine? Hmm? Are you hollow, hollow like a fucking soulless fucking piece of shit? Or are you a fucking human being? With a fucking heart, a fucking brain, fucking bones. Are your bones broken? Are your bones shattered? Are your heart, is your heart beating? Are you alive in there? Or are you dead inside? Come on. If you're going to live a lifestyle, live it. Live it. Breathe it. Don't fake it. No. I don't fake my shit. And not all the times am I outrageous. And not all the times am I trying to put out the shock value. This is who I am. I respect everyone that shares their thoughts on it. I respect everyone that, you know, has the guts to come out and say who they are and what they are. I have, I have, I have respect for that. But what I don't have respect for is when they fake it. 
They don't really know what the lifestyle is about. They don't know what the world is about. They don't know what, you know, pain and suffering is all about. They don't know what fucking depression is all about. They don't know what fucking being miserable, feeling unloved, uncared about is all about. They don't know. Until they know, until they realize what it feels like to be me, eh, it's a fucking mystery to them. They're just gonna keep acting all fake, hollow. There's one of me. I wish I had a partner. Wish I had a lover. Wish I had a girlfriend. I wish I had a wife. But I don't. You know why? Because women and even men... No one has a heart these days. It's all been replaced with fucking lies, deceit, arrogant fucking pricks. Fill the smoke. Smoke in a fucking bag. A meat sack of fucking flesh. It's all you are. You don't have any values. You're hollow. I can see right through you like a fucking ghost. Don't exist. And I'm not talking about the anime characters on my sweatshirt. I'm talking about real people. They're all fake. They're not real. They sure don't act it. They sure don't show it or share it. So you usually do like me. You seriously do think I'm pretty cool. You seriously do think I live the lifestyle. Cause I've been living it for 32 years of my fucking life. How long have you been living your life for? I've seen, I've seen things, I've done things, I've experienced things. I grew. I have loved, I have lost, I have given so much of myself to others, so much of myself to another person, just to see that person die, just to bury that person, six feet in the fucking ground. Yeah, I have love and I have lost. I've lived life. That's life. Watching someone grow old and then watching them die. That's life. I've seen that happen before my very own eyes. I experienced living with someone and then watching them unfortunately pass away. It's heavy shit, isn't it? Can you take my shit? Can you take my life? Can you understand my life? Or are you too afraid? Like too scared? Or people are gonna judge you? People are gonna mock you? Humiliate you? Tell you otherwise? Are you scared? Cause I'm not scared. I'm not afraid of fucking death. I'm not afraid of fucking dying. I'm not afraid of fucking, you know, Losing everything, because I've lost everything I possibly had and gained it back. So love me, care about me. I might love you back. You know what? And I might make a pull place in my heart for you. I might.
I might talk to you. I might conversate with you. Hell, we might be a fucking compatible, you know, two individuals. We might have the same common interests and likes and dislikes. Hell, we might match. For Christ's sakes, that would be fucking magical, wouldn't it? Holy shit. Someone that's just like me, but not really like me. Someone that actually gets me and understands me. Someone that can get on my level. See it from my point of view. Huh. Wow. Is that what love's all about? Because I'm still searching for love. Any takers out there? I got a lot of love to give, but I don't have a lot of time to waste. And I don't waste my time. Time is precious. Time is a, is a monody. Not a lot of people have time. So cherish the time you have. And remember this. When you're getting ready for your morning, and you're gonna put on some clothes, who are you going to be today? Are you going to be yourself? Or are you going to be something that you're not? Don't fake your shit. Be real. Be true. Be brave. Be honest. Show your fucking true identity. Show the world who you fucking truly are. You know who I am? I'm a guy who just likes anime. And a lot of coffee. Smoking cigarettes. But who are you all? You're not the voices in my head. You're not the paranoia. You're not delusional thoughts. You're fucking human beings out there, and I know you're watching, and I know you're caring. I know you all have hearts, and they haven't rip been ripped out of your fucking chest. I know they beat. I know you have brains, and I know they're working. I know you have legs, and they're fucking walking. You know, there's a lot of things about people. There's good people out there. But there's a whole lot of fucked up, messed up people out there, too. And I'm weeding through. And I'm mowing down all the bad ones. Spreading them out. Trying to see the real good side of people characteristics, personalities, the interests, the hobbies, the passions, their hearts, their minds, I'm trying to reach out to you all so I can find a significant other, settle down, grow old, stop complaining all the time, and complain to someone else. For a change. Because all I'm doing is complaining to my dog. It's kind of embarrassing. Kind of is embarrassing. But hey. People did sure did like me back when I was in California. Sure did like me. Now I'm in Maine, and it seems like everyone just doesn't fucking like me. Well, I never left. I brought my whole entire self from California to Ohio, to Ohio to California, to California all the way back to Maine. I never left. I'm still here. 
Where are you all? Where did you go? Did you get lost in the land of shadows? Did you get lost in the land of bizarreness? Wackiness? Where did you all go? Did you disappear? Did you fade away? Like a goddamn figment of a dream in my imagination? And you just up and vanish like a ghost hiding in the walls like a shadow in the moonlight. Where did you all go? As the morning sunrise comes up, did you all vanish like fucking vampires or hide away in your crypts at night? Hide away from the sunlight. I love the sun. If you're going to live the life, live it. Thing about me is I don't drink people's blood. I like vampires. I like the supernatural. But there's certain things I won't try. There's certain things I won't do. But I'm real. 100% authentic, real. In your face. Drinking my coffee. And looking at you all. With a smile on my face. Thank God it's not raining. You know why? Because I'll be singing in the rain. Singing and whistling in the rain. I know you don't like that song. I know you don't like that Broadway musical. But I do. Very well, my friends. Very well. Very well. Live the life. See, I don't live that criminal lifestyle. I don't. But I do live the noxious lifestyle. That punk rock style. That hardcore metal style. I ain't a poser. No, I'm just real. And this goddamn good cup of coffee sure does wake me up in the morning. Mm. And good morning to everyone. Hope we all have a great day today. And if we don't have a great day today, well, it sucks to be you. It sucks to be you. It doesn't suck to be me. Nope. Not one fucking bit. Till then, thanks for watching this 18 minute clip video, whatever you want to fucking call it. I share my little like little side of the light. In my life. Why don't you share a little bit about you? What makes you tick? What makes you come out of your fucking comfort zone? Hmm? Think about that when you're getting up this morning. Who really truly loves you? Who's really truly reaching out there and trying to be with you? Thank God that. I have no X's. I have no O's. I have no kisses. And I have no hugs. The 
single as fuck. But I sure do have a big fucking heart. And I'm willing to share it with someone. That's kind of brave for me to come out and say that. Especially nowadays. When people are so fake. And they only just want one thing. It talks. I never knew money talks. But apparently money talks. I'm not really insane, but money does talk. People put their money where their mouth is, right? Yeah. My mouth talks. Sometimes it doesn't. But my heart? Yeah. Beats like a fucking drum. Snare drum, bass drum. It's like a goddamn hardcore metal band up in my heart right now. Just, just fucking going at it. Pounding that drum set in my heart. And it's not from the coffee. It's just I have a I have a big heart. I don't literally have a big heart. But I have a lot to share. I have a lot of love to give. But I don't have a lot of time. I don't have a lot of time to waste. So <coughs> I'm not faking shit. So if you wanna Date me. You want to get to know me. Hang out. Well. I've tried the apps. They don't work. Tried other resources. They don't work. Putting myself out there. Putting myself out there. Smells like blueberry pancakes. Mm. Blueberry pancakes. Ooh, strawberry. Strawberry and banana pancakes. Oh, sorry. If you don't like pancakes, then maybe waffles. Anyway. <laughs> Stop being fake. Be real. Be truthful. Be honest. And maybe people might give you the benefit of the doubt. That's all I can say about this morning. Take care, everyone. <laughs>